So don't tell Jody, but this morning, while she slept, I stole her M50, and I'm gonna go out this morning and try to take some cool pictures with it. So when Canon released the M50, it was probably the first mirrorless camera they released that I actually got excited about. They didn't do anything fancy or phenomenal on it, it just seemed like a good usable camera. And I was dying to test one out. And then Jody decided to get one to use for her vlogging and uh, for her as her backup camera for her photography as well. And so I've been dying for an opportunity to steal the camera away from her and go out and try to take some pictures. Now, I don't have filters for it. I don't have a lens adapter so I could use my own lenses. So I'm using the M50 this morning straight out of the box. So yesterday when I was filming the filters video, I saw potentially opposite of the spot I was shooting, a spot way down on the water, maybe, potentially that could have a cool angle of the cathedral up that way. But honestly, I have no idea where it is. And uh, I'm kind of just wandering around in the dark hoping to find this spot. So uh, I guess wish me luck. Found some stairs down to the water. This looks promising. Some rocks down here. Yes, and the cathedral's up there as well. And this is perfect, I think. Now if only that light back that way would go up here. <laughs> yeah, cool spot. Let's, uh, let's get this camera gear set up. So I've got a shot set up here that I kind of like. Some nice rocks in the foreground, a bit of crashing wave going on. F16, eight seconds. But the problem is that I don't have filters for this camera. I don't have the adapter ring. I don't have, yeah, I don't have anything set up. And it definitely, definitely needs a grad filter. The sky's just totally blown out. The foreground looks great. Um, but yeah, the sky's blown out. So I'm gonna show you guys what I call the flip flop photography hack. You guys give me a hard time for carrying flip-flops or wearing flip-flops all the time. So I've got eight seconds obviously shooting and I'm gonna shoot this off right now just to show you guys what it looks like. You're gonna see the sky's totally blown out. And obviously I could shoot a second exposure at one second to get the really normal sky, but I'm lazy and I wanna show you a flip-flop gradient filter. So eight seconds. That means three stops down would be four seconds, two seconds, one second. So if I press the shutter, it starts, count one second, and then put my flip-flop in front of the camera and kind of shake it up and down to give it a gradient, like this, as long as I get it really close, <laughs> it works like a grad filter. The sky is totally, to totally fine. It's just a blue sky, exactly the way we see it. And we get our foreground in focus and we get the sky properly exposed. It's the flip-flop photography hack. Now I'm gonna work on some more exposures. I think I won't do the flip-flop photography hack from now on. I'll probably just do two exposures and blend them later. But so far the M50 looks great. It's uh, easy to use, it's light. I've got my three-legged thing, L bracket on it as well. And yeah, I like it. It's a fun little camera. The sun's coming up and it looks amazing on the horizon. 
No lights hitting town yet, but I'm hoping it will pretty soon. I have my filters in my hand, my beloved filters, the six stop and then a three stop soft grad ND. And I'm gonna try to use them. I'm basically just gonna hold them really, really close to the camera, basically touching as close to touching as not touching because I don't want to scratch the filters. I also don't want to move the exposure. Uh, I don't want to move the camera. Hopefully it works. Uh, it's, I would say this is a hack, but it's not a hack. It's kind of stupid because it is a $150 filter. And if you move it around on the front of a lens, it, it can scratch it up. So uh, this is one I'd say stick to the flip flop technique or get your own filters, get a set of filters. But if you have an emergency like I do, then uh, yeah, this is a good workaround. You guys want to know the real reason I wear a hat? I'm shooting pictures right now and a bird just pooped on my hat. Could have been my head. With bird poop in my head and everything, let's talk about the M50 as quick as I can. I like it. I like it a lot more than I thought I was gonna like it actually. I like this, I like the screen that I can flip around. I miss that on my 5D. I like how small and light it is. I like the functionality of it. The touch screen has basically everything on it so I don't have to touch any of the other buttons which are a little bit tiny. Yeah, the dynamic range looks fantastic. When I shoot video, it looks really crisp. When I handhold the video as I did for a couple of those clips just now, it looks super smooth and buttery because of the internal stabilization. I like it. I like it, yeah, like I said, I like it a lot more than I expected I was gonna like it. The light on this photo has kind of been the struggle I've been struggling with every day here in Ciro's in that it's just so blue in the sky. And I think I might end up shooting a couple just detailed shots of the buildings with the M50 now rather than trying to incorporate the landscape just because I think in a situation like this where everything's blue, blue sky, blue bird, it makes more sense to keep things simple. Okay, I packed up the 200D and I'm now vlogging on the 50M, the M50. Uh, no uh, Gorillapod, no gimbal, just handheld because I want you guys to see what this camera looks like handheld because I think a lot of you might be thinking about using it as a vlogging camera. When I saw this camera, when this camera came out, my first thought was vlogging camera. My first thought was that's the next big vlogging camera. That's the camera everybody's gonna be vlogging on pretty soon. It's got the dual pixel autofocus. It's got the awesome lenses that focus really good. It's light, shoots 60 frames per second. So I'm gonna walk around. I don't know if there's anywhere to take pictures early this morning, if there's people out, but I'm gonna see if we can try some street photography or at the very least, just go for a bit of a wander. Handheld, totally handheld, no gimbal. So I think I like the M50 more than I thought I would. And I thought I was gonna like the M50. I, I had a good feeling about the M50, but I, I'm still surprised. I didn't think I would enjoy shooting it this much. It's a fun little camera. It reminds me a lot of my 200D, but maybe a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. Um, I would put a wider lens onto it if I had it. But to be honest, as much as I love this camera and as much as I would steal it from Jody <laughs> if she didn't know about it, I'm okay with my 200D because it essentially does the same thing. But what this camera does, what the M50 does for me is it gets me excited about the potential for a full frame mirrorless from Canon, which is supposed to happen 
<laughs> it's supposed to happen eventually but I mean it was supposed to have happened for like three or four years so um, I'm excited for when that happens those of you who were on my live video a couple days ago asked will I ever switch to mirrorless yes as soon as the Canon mirrorless cameras come out there's probably gonna be two of them they're saying I think I'm gonna buy both of them I've been waiting for a good weather sealed mirrorless camera from Canon from ages so Yes, definitely. As soon as the Canon mirrorless cameras come out, I will be buying them. Uh, as for me, I'm going to head back to our apartment. I'm going to go try to sneak this camera back in Jody's camera bag before she notices I stole it. And be sure to go check out her channel and just leave a comment on her channel saying, Sorry, Brendan stole your camera. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, that's it for me. I uh, will see you on the next episode. I'm going to get up tomorrow morning and shoot a sunrise somewhere down here with the remaining battery I have left on my 5D Mark IV. I'll see you there. Peace.